Hey folks, so I want to give an introduction to permutation groups. Permutation groups are really important in group theory. Um, one way of thinking about them is as a specific exam example of a type of interesting group. But um, um, another way of thinking about them is that any finite group can be seen as a subgroup of a permutation group. So if you understand permutation groups really well, then in some sense you understand all groups really well. So let's start just what is a permutation? Um, a permutation of a set A is a one-to-one -one and onto function from A to itself. So another name for one-to-one -one is injective. And then another name for onto is surjective. And then when you are both injective and surjective, another name for that is bijective. But I won't be using um, that terminology so much here. So let's look at an example where A is um, the set of numbers one, two, three, four, and five. So let's draw a permutation F from A to A. So I'm gonna write out the elements of A on the top row, and then again on the bottom row. And we just need to map one through five to one through five so that every element goes to different places. So maybe we map one to two, maybe we map two to three, and then three to one, and perhaps we send four to five. And you know, five can't go to five because in a one to be one to one, two elements are colliding at the same spot. You know, for the same reason, five can't go to three, two elements can't collide. At this point, the only place five could go is back to four. So this is a permutation. It's one-to-one -one because different elements go to different spots. And it's onto because every element in the bottom row gets hit. It turns out that, that because um, the domain A and the output space, here also A, have the same size, it turns out that whenever your input and output space have the same size, then if you're one-to-one, -one, that implies that you're onto and vice versa. But in general, that's not true if, if your sets have different size. So in any case, a permutation is a function f from a set to itself that takes your elements and sends them all to different places. Um, maybe I should write out briefly, you know, this particular permutation f sends one to two, it sends two to three, it sends three to one, it sends four to five, and it sends five to four. What is a permutation group? A permutation group of a set A is a collection of permutations that form a group under function composition. And I'll explain function composition um, in this video. Let A be the same set, the numbers from one up to five. Let me tell you one example of a permutation group, S5. Let S5 be the group of all permutations. on the set of numbers from one up to five. Okay, more generally, S sub N is a group of all permutations on the set of numbers from one up to N, okay? But you could also consider subgroups of S5. You know, you don't include all of the permutations, you only include some of the permutations. Okay, but we'll look at the group of all permutations on the set of numbers from one up to five. In a group, I need to tell you what the operation is. So let me draw two permutations and show you how you compose them, which is the, the operation in this group. So here's F, it's a permutation on the set. 
let me draw another permutation, G. All right. So for G, why don't we send one to three? Why don't we send two to itself? Why don't we send um, three to four? How about four goes to one and five goes to itself? Okay, so this is G. Let me now show you how to compose these. All right. So let's look at G composed with F. Really, this means that you do F first and then you do G second, because you know if I wanted to evaluate G composed of F of say two, that would be defined as G of F of two, which in this particular case, F of two is three and G of, right, we can see that F takes two to three and G takes three to four. All right. So let's, let's explore G composed with F, which means doing F first and then G. So since I'm doing F first, I'm just going to copy this and put it below. And then let me take this part of G, this second part, and copy that and paste it. Okay, that worked, worked pretty well. So when you do F and then G, it's really concatenating these two together. So if I wanted to draw a picture of that, I would draw the following. I'm going to draw the permutation that is G composed with F, first doing F and then G. All I do is, is straighten out these strings, right? You know, F takes two to three, and then G takes three to four. So their composition had better take two to four. I've just taken this string and straightened it out. All right, let's see where the composition takes one. Well, F takes one to two, and G takes two to two. So the composition takes one to two. Where does the composition take three? Well, F takes three to one, and then G takes one to three. So the composition actually sends three to itself. Where does the composition take four? Well, F takes four to five, and then G takes five to five. So the composition takes four to five. And finally, where does the composition take five? Well, F takes five to four, G takes four to one. So when I strain out that string, the composition sends five all the way back to one. All right. Fantastic. So that's the operation in this group. When you want to combine two permutations, that's how you do it. Here we've, we've taken um, F and we've taken G and we've composed them to get G composed with F, which means doing F first and then G second. Um, Permutation groups are typically not abelian, not commutative. You know, S5 is definitely not abelian, not commutative. Um, when I combine F and G in one order, it's not going to be the same thing in this example. It's not going to be the same thing as combining F and G in the opposite order. All right. Thanks so much. That's my introduction to permutations, which are by one to one and onto functions from a set to itself and also groups of permutations. For example, S5 is a group of all permutations on the set of numbers from one up to five. And the group operation is, is composition of these permutations, which are functions. Thanks so much.